For about four years now, I've been the proud owner of a Traveler Guitar Pro Mod X Travel Guitar. And uh, I've got to say, I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You, you throw it into its case, you throw it over your shoulder, and then, you know, you're exploring the world with a great electric guitar with you. And I, I've taken this thing all over the world and had quite a lot of fun with it. Uh, but uh, then recently, you may have noticed... Uh, that that travel suddenly stopped and uh, I've been trapped at home with not a lot to do and and uh, to avoid myself turning into a previous version of myself that I didn't like very much or going completely insane I decided to uh, start a project and uh, I was looking through pickup sites as you do and I remembered that I had played a Stratocaster with a set of Billy Gibbons Red Devil pickups from Seymour Duncan um, and just loved it. I mean, it's an amazing custom set of pickups. And I thought about dropping them into my own 96 American Standard Strat that I have, but I don't want to adulterate such a, such a classic guitar. Um, and so I remembered that I've got a other guitar that has a single coil route in it. I have a, the Traveler Pro Mod X. So I started asking myself, what would happen if you took the Traveler Pro Mod X, dropped into it a Billy Gibbons Red Devil pickup, really a very high-end pickup that is uh, probably the best thing on the market. W what would that give you? Uh, would it would it taking this guitar that's great but has relatively cheap components in it and putting in a really high-end component? What would it make happen? So I decided to do this, and I've done it. I'm pretty happy with it, and I made a few videos about how it went. Uh, I want to start off by showing you uh, the sounds that it makes and um, but I need a comparison. So uh, I need to show you um, what the guitar sounded like before the mods. So I've taken my uh, Fender Blues Jr. and this, out of necessity played it in my bedroom at Bedroom Volumes. And I've, I've set it to what I my bedroom volume settings are. And I'm showing you those here. Uh, believe it or not, I do turn the master volume all the way up to 12. It keeps the tubes really hot. This amp loves the hot tubes. And then I use the um, regular volume to control, uh, you know, my ability to kind of drive my neighbors and my wife mad. Uh, so I pull that back to about two. And then I run the whole thing through my pedal board. If you want to hear more about my pedal board, there's another video you can watch that shows you my pedal board setup. But um, all I'm really using for these videos is I'm using my classic 1980s T9 Tube Screamer and my reissued uh, Triangle Big Muff Pie, and I'm able to mix those with my pedal board. So you'll hear me mixing those in different ways in these video in the videos I'm going to show you. Now, now the kind of plan I'm going to do is I'm going to do some noodling in E minor pentatonic, which uh, basically is pretty dull. But it's going to give you the same notes played in the same position in the same kind of pattern uh, across several sounds. And those will be the sounds I come back to to show you what I've done uh, with the guitar after I've dropped in the Seymour Duncan pickup into the Promite X and a few other things because I found some other cool stuff that I wanted to do. So with no further ado, here are the before sounds. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 